Hi, this is Paul from paulbratby.com and this is a quick video vlog for my ex-brat algo. This time on stocks on a smaller time frame, 39 minute time frame. Really great uh, using this time frame, 78195 on stocks with my ex-brat algo. Now, one of the things that is different when using ExpertAlgo algo with stocks is we do not use high Kanashi because the stock is not a 24 hour product and high Kanashi is there for 24 hour products and averaging out candles you can't do that with stocks so we just go with normal candles and look at those time frames that break up the trading day in 39 minute is divisible into the trading day uh, so this is FSI, FISV, excuse me, um, and this, uh, this multiple opportunities in the last week or so to buy this after pullback. So great looking trades. I'm going to go through each one. Uh, I'm also going to introduce the EMA Cloud, which I is just about finished developed now and will be on sale on a new um, marketplace for trading um, indicators uh, before Christmas. So I just want to show you how helpful some of these extra tools can be. But right now, uh, let's just talk about FISV. Uh, we had the massive gap up here and it tested a previous support and resistance zone. So. Uh, rejected those came back down to test uh support resistance zone from the daily so when i'm trading stocks on 39 78 195 or an hourly uh, i actually put these zones on from the daily so first of all on the 13th we get a five and a six star buy on the x brad algo here we want to make sure we've got a sensible entry here so i want to make sure these pivots that were rejected here one two three four we move through those before we enter this long to initially go and uh, close this gap and then move forward. So with the stop for this position, I am actually initially, initially looking for a, a stop just below this pivot before uh, those signals came out sensibly. Okay. Then I want to work out the risk reward. To do that, I go to the FIB, the GAN and FIB tools. I'm going to use the trend based FIB extension three clicks on this one first click is at the stop second click is on the entry and then the third click is on the entry as well so we can see here risk to rewards the next support and resistance zone up here around 117.44 is over one to three or something like that so we can see uh, one to 0 0.5 one to one one to 1 1.6 one to two so great risk reward um, whilst being sensible and having that stop below this pivot in this support zone so that's the first signal that we get there great looking trade we get this signal goes through does pull back but it doesn't take the stop out and then just continues to go so then we get another signal on the 19th of November uh, this is a signal candle here we want to make sure we're breaking this little pivot over on the left for entry which is good it's above this the uh, signal candle there's my long entry now stop is a little bit difficult here and this is why I start to develop the the EMA cloud for this to help you uh, look for stops when we when we are uh, moving in a certain direction we get little pullbacks and we get in these extra entries so we can add to our original position for example or if we've missed that one um, you know we can always uh, take another entry so I'm going to put the EMA cloud on there at the moment so using the 34 EMA cloud here we can this is fully adjustable when it comes out and it won't be it won't be too long another week probably maximum but this gives me an option then to look for where my stops this is my signal candle I want my stop just below the EMA cloud okay so just here that's where my stops gonna be it's going to be below this pivot when it rejected that move down. I'm just going to remove this original risk to reward and I'm going to put the next one on now. So again, click on the stop, click on the entry and we are, you know, 1 to 1.3 to that target zone. Still not bad for stocks actually because once it goes through the 0 0.5, through the 50% profit times risk, I always make it risk free anyway. Uh, so great Se second entry looks great again let's get rid of that and look at the third entry so third entry 
we get a signal candle here on the 24th of November okay I've got to look where this EMA cloud did hold a support when it came back down here on there so I know this is a good support zone I can get that look for my stop just below that pivot again the EMA clouds there for uh, you know looking for support on uh, uh, the trend direction but also it will be used um, for uh, trailing stop positions as well so we have got a really uh, conservative stop here the risk reward isn't fantastic here okay so this is a decision you've got to make as a trader am I going to have the conservative stop and I'm only going to get then a risk reward of 1 to 0 0.8 into that resistance zone or am I going to play this really aggressively it's a question you should be asking yourself in putting the stop here but as you can see that would have been a bad decision being aggressive here shows you that when it comes back down it uses the cloud as support takes out your stop and then goes for it again so again it's, this is the decision that you're going to have to make as traders coming off major support down here on the left this was the trade the second trade was also a great trade to add to your position but you were getting closer now to your um, you know the support and resistance zone so this third entry the risk to reward for me is not good enough I wouldn't take that entry okay now I'd just be using my um, EMA cloud for a uh, trading stop position and to be honest this is a gr if we took this trade early on here just tipping the support and resistance zone I would have been out of this trade okay so hopefully this helps again expert algo is very versatile and this is an example for uh, stocks